y'all. Um, I'm Raleigh Christ, and I'm a junior at Duchenne Academy. Stop stalling! And this is my poem entitled 9 p.m. Drive. MJ. I find myself eternally driving on a stretch of dark highway. Music, my only company. I just want to find my home. The address is etched on my heart, I know, but I can't tear my heart out to read that pulsing map without bleeding into oblivion. MJ, I'm tired, but it doesn't feel like the sort that can be solved with one night's rest. I'm tired because I feel myself slowly being emptied. Like a water balloon with a pin prick, I just can't seal all the spots I'm spilling out of. Why does my heart feel like it's eroding inside of me? MJ, do you ever feel far away? Even if you know you aren't, I've just felt distanced. Nebulously on the fringes, I'm spinning in slick, salt slush streets, and I don't know which way to turn the wheel. I can't see anything except dirt spatter thoughts on my windshield, and I feel like a bad person because I can't do all the things I want to do and be all the things I want to be. I'm waiting at the railroad crossing. A midnight train streaks through the foggy night, so much passing me by. So I cling to my priorities as I cling to the steering wheel, even, even if it pains me to see so much and so many slip away. But I have to hold on to something, even if I am imperfect, Life isn't clear and smooth, MJ. If life were like that, I wouldn't want to be living it. I want you to know that I laughed uncontrollably on my ride home. Just the pure glee of youth fluttering wildly, flying under the orange glow of streetlights and the tantalizing glitter of the stars. There's a spot of highway right next to my exit where I've cried my way home once from despair and once from enigmatic happiness, and now I've giggled home. It's almost cinematic, if you only saw those moments and the music and the lonely abandon of the car. I think that's why I'm living. That's why I'm learning and growing and loving life, because I can cry and cry and laugh and sing in the same spot at different times. Because magic is love. And magic is what we make it, and life is meant to be in pursuit of everything, not just one thing. I want you to be magical, MJ because you already are to me my muse. I want you to feel the magic too, the peace of divinity and despair all at once. And I swear I'm falling in love with life or who I might become or with the process of becoming. Is this the teenage dream? Blurring headlights and chasing fireflies with music pounding in my ears, feeling freedom so vividly along with tragedy, even if it's all in my head. MJ. I want you to know, tonight was lovely. <laughs>